Hello folks and welcome. So Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon was released several weeks ago and uh, I was left a message this morning about a problem that I actually observed a couple of days ago and the problem has to do with your software manager and Flatpak software. Um, he watched one of my videos on uh, Linux Mint 22 for new users and uh, there's a reference in there that I make about a game and he said he couldn't find it. Well, I found this problem a couple of days ago also. My message to him was to reinstall the um, Linux Mint software manager. I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm also going to show you um, how you can verify when things were updated. I think it's important also to understand all this process. In either case, folks, welcome. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. Adjust your YouTube player accordingly. I'm not part of the Linux Mint team and I do not get paid to make videos, but I do have over 400 on my YouTube site if you want to take a look at them. So today I'm going to talk about this software manager. And the problem that this person, he was looking for a specific game. The problem I also observed is when I clicked Flatpak software and all the icons were scrambled. And uh, more importantly, that all occurred after I turned this on. It doesn't do that now. And the game he was looking for is this one. All right, Exalotech. It's an unverified piece of Flatpak software. You can only view it if you turn this on. So if I were to um, leave this up for a second and turn this back off, it shouldn't show up. That's normal. Doesn't find it. I'm going to just copy that word and then go back and turn this back on. So basically what's supposed to happen is that. So in his case, he left me the message and said, hey, this is not, I couldn't find that. Well, that's because I knew there was other problems in here and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, some of you other folks may have already seen this problem. So I'm gonna show you how to reinstall this whole thing. So this thing is called Mint Install, and I'm going to leave this up on the screen. I'm going to click the Updater Shield in here if you don't know how to do this. And we can look at History of Updates, something that most people do not. All right, I can tra trace down when this actually occurred. So on August 6th, Mint Install got updated from 8.3.2 to 8.3.3. This was a bad update. It caused an issue in here, near as I could tell. So um, I only observed this a couple of days later. So August 6th was the last Tuesday, not this previous Tuesday, but the Tuesday of last week. So I observed the problem, I think it was on the 8th or somewhere in that region. I've just been real busy with some family members ill family members but anyways uh, so my solution for this is to reinstall mint install and i'm going to show you how to do that in this video so again you can track down your version too so let's talk about this closing that open up terminal make that a little bit larger for you sam is just a made-up name sam is our user for today so we need to remove it first. So it's currently sitting in my Mint menu. So I'm going to remove that. And the uh, removal command is this one. sudo just means super user do space apt space remove space mint install all one word. Now before you do this, you may want to take a good look at the name. Open up your software manager if you can and take a look at mint install. That's what you want to handwrite on a piece of paper if you don't remember this, okay? So sudo apt remove. You're not installing, you're removing because you need to remove first to fix this problem. So I'm gonna put in Sam's password. Again, Sam is just a made up name. And hit yes. And your leave this box open. If you inadvertently close it, You'll have to um, re-enter your password again, but more importantly, no more software manager. Okay, I'm going to punch up clear just to keep the clean 
a screen clean as one would say and we're going to perform this is the removal this is the installation sudo apt install mint install sudo apt install mint install don't forget the spaces okay it didn't require a password because i didn't close terminal if i had closed it i would have to put in a new password i'm going to type in exit that mint menu should be back here open it up and then go verify that everything's working i see icons in flight pack that's a good thing okay i could turn this back off close software manager reopen it okay click flat back these are verified flat packs right because this is off and that's the way it's supposed to work so if i were to take a look at gimp for instance if i wanted uh, version 21038 or i can install 21036 but more importantly this is currently off and i'm going to use i look for that game Xonotech. it's not found it's okay i'm going to highlight the word and copy it so i don't have to retype this thing i'm going to turn this back on go back in here i'm going to try to go back in here and paste and there it is that's the sole purpose of that and then uh, if you don't want to look at that anymore then turn this back off my encouragement to you though is to file a bug report with Linux Mint. I'm not part of their team. Again, I just make independent videos and I don't get paid for those. 300 videos and growing, but um, inform them. You know, usually they'll get on um, something if enough people complain about a certain thing. And again, but I just gave you a temporary fix for that. Or now you know how to reinstall your software manager called Mint Install. Thank you for watching.